Hey everyone, it's Rek here and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to drastically lower input delay in all games. So in this video, we will be using a little program that I made which allows you guys to switch bin 32 priority values real time without having to restart your game. But before jumping into the guide guys, 90% of you watching my videos are not even subscribed. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button right now. And with that, let's get this video started. So normally if you ever want to let's say test different win32 values you would have to first apply that value then go ahead and restart your game and then test it. However by using this program all you need to do is press a single hotkey and the value will switch. You don't even need to restart your game. Usually the reason why you need to restart your game if you switch the value manually is because of alt tabbing out of the game. But by using this program you won't be alt tabbing out of the game to switch the values hence why no game restarts required at all. This is going to save all of you guys a lot of time and you can easily test the value that you want to use. So yeah without any further ado let's dive straight into the program. So in order to download the win32 priority separator all you guys need to do is go down into the description of this video and use either one of the two links provided down below there to download the program. Once you guys have downloaded it, all you guys would need to do is unzip the RAR file and then go ahead and right click on it, run it as administrator. You will see this welcome message which says, thank you for using win32 priority separator and then your username. This program was made by Ragnotech to be used for free. If you see anyone selling it, please contact me. And also a huge thanks to all of the folks who helped because a ton of people helped me and then you can go ahead and hit OK. This is going to open up the program and the interface looks something like this. I tried to keep it. The the minimalistic type and just clean and easy to use. So this is the program has the logo, the registry logo, Win32 priority separator and then here are the generic values that most of you probably know about. Then there is the quantum size, quantum variation, foreground boost type and the keyboard shortcuts for all of them. And under the miscellaneous stuff there are more values that you can go ahead and test. Also if you guys want to go ahead and read about what the quantum size is, quantum variation and the foreground boost type you can go ahead and search a win32 priority separator on google and you will find a ton of different forums explaining this stuff in reasonable detail. And if you go ahead and click on the about button right here it is going to open up your default browser and take you to my youtube channel where you can go ahead and watch different videos that you want. So that was the overview of the program and now let's dive into the functionality of this program. So there are actually two main methods of using this program. All you guys need to do is just go ahead and open up this program. Then you can go ahead and click on any of these buttons to apply the value. For example, if I go ahead and click on change value to 14 hex, this is going to change the win32 priority separation value to 14 hex. The second method of using this program is of course via these shortcuts. So these are global hotkeys which means that it does not matter whether the program program is open up like this or minimized and you have a game running in the foreground. So in order to utilize the hotkeys all you need to do is go ahead and press any of these combos. For example if I go ahead and press F1 key it's going to change the value to 2A hex. Then if I go ahead and press the Alt plus U it's going to set the value to 14 hex. So that's how really simple and easy it is to use this program. And now I'm going to be showing you guys how you can utilize this program uh, to test different values inside of the games. So all you guys need to do is go ahead and keep this program program open in the background doesn't matter if you minimize it but for the sake of the video I'm gonna go ahead and keep it open up here and then you want to go ahead and launch your game. You of course do not want to be in the windowed mode. I am in windowed mode because I want to show you guys uh, this program and the game at the same time and I don't have dual monitors so yeah we will have to make do with the windowed mode. So now as you guys can see that I'm inside of the game and let's say I want to switch the value to maybe 16 hex so the shortcut key for that is F10 so I'm gonna go ahead and press F10 and this is going to switch the value to 16 hex. You cannot see the dialog box that is because I am inside of the game right now but if you go ahead and close out of the game after you are done testing maybe two or three values you will see that it sets a dialog box which says your win32 priority separation has been set to 16 hex. So now I'm inside of the game let's just assume that I am in full screen and I want to test two values. So normally for testing the values you would want to use a program such as CapFrame X or another low FPS and lows recorder whatever the 
method that you want to choose that's up to you i do recommend using capframe x for all of that but let's just assume that you are using one of those programs to measure your fps so that you can go ahead and compare different values so what you would do is run this program in the background open up your game in full screen go ahead and press the hotkey value for the value that you want to test in my case i want to test the 2a value so i'm gonna go ahead and press f1 and now the value has been set to 2a now i'm gonna go ahead and build or do whatever or stand still measure the fps for a specific amount of time and when i'm done with that i'm going to test it against the value that is 28 so the shortcut key for that is f3 so i'm gonna go ahead and press f3 on the keyboard now the value has been set to 28 no game restarts required whatsoever and you can keep on testing like this so that's the whole function of this program and as you guys can see it makes it a lot easier to go ahead and test different values you only need to press one or two keys to switch the value you don't need to restart your game and you don't even need to switch out of the game to change the values that's how simple and easy this program makes changing the win32 values inside of the game so now that i have shown you guys how to go ahead and properly do this inside of a game let's talk about the other values so these are the most generic values that you are that most of you are aware of and under the miscellaneous are some other values that i highly recommend you guys to test for me personally fff3 f91 credit to adam this one works really well and also another one that worked really well for me was this one fff55555 hex credit to nani i'm really sorry if i mispronounced something but these are the values that have personally worked really well for me and i highly recommend you guys to go ahead and test out all of these as well the program is actually really simple and lightweight if you go to the task manager and go ahead and look at its cpu usage and the memory usage it only uses 8.5 mb ram and even task manager uses more cpu than this program so that's that's another plus point you can keep it running in the background it really doesn't matter if you go ahead and and even minimize it and then go ahead and press one of the hotkeys let's say f5 you can see that it still works and changes the value so if you don't want to go ahead and use this all you need to do is go ahead and click on close and then you will be done so yeah guys that was it for this video i really hope that this program helps you guys out a lot and saves you guys a even a little bit of time in testing those values i know that i haven't been posting videos in a long time just been busy with a lot of stuff in with my os this program and other things like that future projects so yeah uh, that was it for this video guys once again if this video helps you guys then make sure to leave a like down below and 90% of you watching my videos are not even subscribed i don't know why would you not be but make sure that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now and i will see you guys in the next one until then stay awesome